These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Today, I wanted to talk about quitting vaping. Yeah. I bet you didn't expect me to say that, but quitting vaping. The great thing I think about vaping is that it can kind of be whatever you want. You get to decide how much nicotine you are or aren't going to use, and that's not something that a cigarette smoker gets to do. And that's why quitting smoking sucks so bad, because you're going from getting all of the nicotine that you know that you use to suddenly none. And with vaping, I didn't have to do that. The general way that most people quit vaping is to get into some sort of pod system with any liquid that, that, you know, that they find satisfying, right? And then over however much time they give themselves, you can slowly sort of taper down your nicotine. Me personally, I went from, when I first quit, 36 milligram non-salt nicotine, and I vaped that for oh, like two solid weeks, and it was great, and I thought I had quit smoking. I ran out of liquid. I bought a pack of cigarettes. I dual used for almost a solid month while I was waiting for my uh, order from China, but I went 36 milligram non-salt, 24 milligram non-salt, 18 milligram non-salt, and I vaped 18 milligram non-salt for years. I thought that was kind of going to be my end game. And then I went down to 12 milligram non-salt and found it just as satisfying. And that's kind of where I've been for the last 14 years, as far as a mouth to lung goes. I was vaping nothing but like three milligram and sometimes one and a half milligram when I would do direct lung or restricted direct lung stuff just because I was vaping so much that 1.5 milligram or three milligram was completely satisfying. And I still vape a lot of stuff that way to this day. And that comes back again to I get to decide how much nicotine I use. But that's my vaping, you know, journey for lack of a better term. Everyone's different. Different people have different goals. And so it's really exponentially easy to quit smoking with vaping. And it's honestly really easy to quit vaping by tapering down the nicotine. And that brings me to my number one quit vaping tip. And this quit vaping tip kind of goes against the consensus view, at least from what I can tell, you know, on the internet, in Facebook groups and places like Reddit. The tendency is once the person is done vaping, they just get rid of all of their vape stuff. To that, I say no. This is my tip. Keep something. Keep one thing. Keep like a pod that you know you love with a liquid or keep a disposable or something for that one day in the future. And anybody who has ever quit smoking cigarettes knows that one day in the future, and hopefully it never comes, but it might. I feel like we've all been there that one day where you say, holy sh I would really like a cigarette right now. I've seen way, way too many comments in my videos over the last two years of people who've done just that. Hey, I quit smoking with vaping and then I quit vaping in 2020 and then I had a really bad day in 2022 and I bought a pack of cigarettes and I've been smoking ever since. Hey, what's a good pod system? I would keep one thing that I know that I love for that one day that again, just hopefully never comes. To everyone who's uh, quit smoking with vaping, I say hell yeah. To everybody who's quit vaping because vaping allows you to control the amount of nicotine you get and taper down on your own terms because hashtag harm reduction meet the person where they're at. I say also hell yeah. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's just stay smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke so.